And so most patients will have a little bit of swelling after the procedure. Most patients, it goes away after about two to three days, but we don't consider it a side effect. We actually consider it an expected effect. All right, what questions do you have for me in regards to platelet-rich plasma or anything like that? I'm pretty sure that a friend of mine had that with his knee several years back, um, and he experienced some, um, like, swelling, pain um, for a few days afterwards, and then it got better. Um, what are the side effects of this? Yeah, so we don't really consider that a side effect because it's actually a desired effect in a lot of patients. And the reason I say that is because when we're doing something like a platelet-rich plasma injection, we're actually trying to stimulate the body's ability to heal a particular area. That's the purpose for our injection. The first stage of the healing process is inflammation. And unlike surgery where you know, there the surgeon is going in and cutting things and sewing things back together and things like that, where the mechanical changes are occurring because of sutures. We're actually trying to get, you know, things that might have small tears in them um, or some arthritis to heal on their own. We need inflammation to occur. So we can't be suppressing it after the procedures with, you know, an NSAID like ibuprofen or Celebrex or an oral steroid or something like that. And so most patients will have a little bit of swelling after the procedure. Uh, most patients, it goes away after about two to three days but we don't consider it a side effect. We actually consider it an expected effect. Some people don't get it though. Maybe 10, 15% of patients don't have any post-procedure swelling or any post-procedure pain and they seem to do really well. But most patients will have a little bit of increased pain after the procedure with some mild swelling that resolves on its own as the healing takes place.